Juan Ryan from Tierney and Aaron Cole and myself are just kind of having an informal demo of the Hubby IQ partnered with an interactive flat panel. This one happens to be the Clever Touch, which is leveraging uh, the Zoom app on. So we're using Zoom as that collaboration platform to do that. You're going to see the Hubby IQ kind of genius frame to me and where I am and when Aaron jumps in. Um, it'll genius frame to him as well. What that means is it's identifying um, faces, bodies, um, how many there are, and it's going to frame accordingly. What we've done here uh, with Zoom, you're seeing kind of a side-by-side. -side. It's one of the features that Zoom has um, that's beneficial and, and some of the other meeting platforms do not have. Uh, it's the ability for the end user to identify, in this case, a student, maybe to be able, uh, uh, be able to identify how they want to view that lesson, whether it's uh, on-site or off-site. Uh, in a hybrid uh, teach and learning scenario. So we're just going to go through and just demonstrate a little bit the features and functions um, of the Hudley IQ with respect to how it might be used in, in a, a given scenario. Um, of course, this is a clever touch, which I said, this could be a larger projector, it could be a different interactive flat panel, it could be a whiteboard that you write on, it could be a chalkboard if you still have those. Um, so we're just going to rock and roll and, and get in here. So first and foremost, before Aaron jumps in, I'm just going to kind of move to the side so you can see how this will actually reframe um, depending where I'm at. And if I go in the middle, it's going to reframe again. Um, so what it's doing is it will, it will pan, tilt, and zoom based on where uh, the human beings are within, within the shot. Um, so I'm also going to invite Mr. Aaron Cole. Aaron, pop up, and you'll see it'll pick him up. And we're going to go Hello, through everyone. just, what? Hello, everyone. There we go. We're just going to go through, um, once it picks him up, there it goes. And we're just going to interact a little bit. Right now, I would say the Hudley IQ is about maybe seven-ish, six to seven feet away. Um, and so we're also using the Hudley IQ mic array to pick up the sound. In a little bit, Aaron's going to bop around our room here and kind of talk about distances um, and the, the mic array so you can hear how that works as well. So first, just to share some content, I'm just going to bring up a very basic PowerPoint. We're not going to roll through this specifically, but the idea that you can both see the, the facilitator uh, interacting um, but you can also see through Zoom the live stream. So if we were to pop through this content, um, you would see the live stream of, of what's going on there. Um, so this is an old presentation that we have, but we just wanted to bring up a PowerPoint. This could be any resource. It could be a software. It could be a web-based tool that you're interacting with. Also, we're going to go ahead and jump um, to just a basic whiteboard. So Aaron, would you like to, let's, let's get a dart. Oh, there we go. Um, let's say we're not going to save it. And let's keep the neon green, why not? So Aaron, let's play a little tic-tac-toe real quick. Go ahead, line her up. So you can see um, as we're interacting, if Aaron goes out of the way real quick, let's say he has to leave, for whatever reason, it's going to reframe to me in my content. There we go, we're getting there. And then if Aaron comes back, you'll be able to see, there it goes, you'll be able to see him pop in. So the, uh, the IQ is going to leverage that. All right, so just to save time, I'm going to let Aaron win on this one. There we go. And so right now, Aaron and I are about six feet apart. So you could bop in and out and have that framing work with it if you're worried about um, the social distancing element. Again, this is if you're on site. This in a higher ed environment, you may not have you know people coming to the board per se, uh, but it does allow uh, the Hubby IQ allows um, the computer and the platform to pick up multiple people. Anything to add to that? Uh, no, I was just gonna say, I think next let's let's uh, kind of maybe simulate the K-12 environment or maybe there is a height difference um, within the environment for, yeah. for whatever reason. Maybe the camera needs to be plopped up higher um, or something like that. So uh, I'm just gonna simulate the camera auto adjusting. So what we're doing here is we're just lowering the panel. This could be 
whether it's in a preschool environment on a, on a higher ed campus, whether it's an early or, or even mid elementary um, environment in a K-12 um, organization, you might drop down, the te I know the younger the students, the teachers tend to work lower to their level. Um, so whether the teacher's in a chair or he or she gets on their knees on just maybe a basic whiteboard or if they're using a big book to read a story and, and, um, and, and help teach students that way, and they can. So right now I'm still standing, but it did go ahead and, and, and genius frame Aaron when he dropped down. But if I drop down, It'll take a couple seconds, but it'll go ahead and do the same thing. Um, I think the other scenario that we can talk about is in higher education, we may have labs or demos, or maybe there's a CPR doll or something uh, on the floor, and this camera is, is coming to where we're at now. It's recognizing that we're not standing and that we're down. So if we go ahead and stand up, it'll, I trip myself on the cords. It's going to recognize that we are no longer uh, on the ground and uh, bring everything uh, back up here. There we go. And I'm just raising the panel too, um, to, to do that. So just a shout out to Copernicus too. It's a height adjustable cart that, that we're using in case you're wondering what, what we're using to do that for. So now what we're going to do is Aaron's going to walk out and then Aaron, go ahead and talk. And, and what he's going to do, um, Kind of the idea is if the professor, the instructor, the teacher, depending what, what grade levels or, or organizations you're in, if they can hear it, the microphone can hear it. So that's kind of the rule of thumb is if the teacher or the facilitator or the professor can hear the, the question from the audience, then the, the mic array on the IQ can as well. So right now I'm approximately six feet away just to discuss a little bit about what's going on in the environment. Um, we, there is a lot of HVAC noise. So there's a lot of background noise, which we know once we fill this up with students, it's gonna um, be harder to project as well. Right now I'm not projecting, talking in normal levels. Um, I'm gonna currently walk to about uh, 15 feet away. Right now I'm at 15 feet now. Um, again, normal, audible levels. Um, I may project a little bit, just because you're my professor, and, Natural, natural for me to make sure that you can hear me. Uh, again, I'll bring it back down to normal uh, conversation levels. I'm going to move to about 20 feet, 20 to 22 feet. Again, normal uh, levels, conversation levels, but again, natural instinct would be to overcome the HVAC uh, unit that's here and make sure the professor can hear me. So now I'm going to project just a little bit. Uh, Ryan, can you hear me all right? Yeah, um, so if I'm the facilitator, I would just say, hey, Aaron, what's one plus one? Two. Perfect. What's two plus two? Four. All right, he's on track. Okay, so right there you go. So at the end, you could hear Aaron projecting so that the teacher, the facilitator, the professor um, could, could hear that. So what we've done, again, is just leveraging uh, the Clever Touch Interact the flat panel. Again, it could be a, a different uh, panel, it could be a projector, it could be an interactive projector, it could be just a basic whiteboard on the wall, being able to allow that facilitator um, to demonstrate uh, and teach. Um, and then the mic array built into the Hubby IQ as well, uh, being able to listen to the distances that that will pick up. The setup we have right now, we actually have a laptop with the Hubby IQ facing me, and we've joined the Zoom call um, from the panel. And so, Aaron, anything else to add? Uh, maybe let's just uh, have you come up a little bit closer to the screen, see how that reframes and adjusts. I know it takes uh, a little bit of a second to do that for a smooth transition. But... Yeah, so what I've done is I've walked closer. So if there's people that are remote, uh, maybe a hybrid or, or a fully online or distance-based environment, as I get closer, it'll actually back out. So you don't need to see every orifice on my face or anything like you can just it it, it allows the students that are uh, afar to be able to to access um the, the video that they need to and the audio so i'm gonna go ahead and back up one more time aaron anything else Rob, that was it okay thank you everybody